video because it's been like I said a hot minute and I feel like we need to reconnect I feel like we need to get to know each other a bit more so many things have happened so many things have changed in my life Jesus the girl is a brand new person okay without wasting too much of your time let's get straight into the video eight things that you didn't know about me and I begin with number one my name is Coco Flows Back. I think that's like the basic introduction. My name is Coco Flows Back Tolu Lokwe. So you won't hear people call me Tolu. That's also my name. And it's a sweet name. It's a name that I love. And you can call me Tolu if you want. But when I meet you, I most likely will introduce myself as Coco Flows Back because that's what the rest of my family calls me. My dad, my mom, my sisters call me Coco. My husband calls me Coco. So I most likely will automatically go to say hi my Coco flows back there are people who just like try to be extra and like be like yeah I'm just gonna call you Tolu because like, like don't don't call me Tolu to make a point no like if there's if, if anybody wanted to make a point it would be my parents <laughs> and they call me Coco Coco is also the short for a um, legal name so either way you're still calling me whatever so number two where do I come from? So this is a question I get asked so many times and sometimes I try not to be annoyed by it because a lot of people say it's because of my accent. I do get asked a lot if I'm East African and the answer is da -da -da, no. I am as Nigerian as it comes. I'm as Nigerian as it gets. My mother, in fact, look, I have a Yoruba mother who's a pastor. Look, I was, I was, in the extraness is ingrained in me so like don't even get it twisted I'm very Nigerian um, but then I can also understand where people are coming from when they ask the question because I do know that my accent is very heavily influenced yeah I have my mother's family my mother's family has like a bit of a British background not a bit my entire my other my entire mom's family is British so yeah my grandma everyone mm, there's a bit of like you may find like a bit of like a British accent in there also my best friend is Hausa and I speak to her, and she's not Hausa, I'm sorry, she's not, she's from the north, she's, she's Murgi. Um, and I speak to her every day and somehow I find that like some of the, I don't know, some of the pronunciations are, I don't know, I started to like take them on. Also the final thing that you're probably hearing is I speak a bit of German and my German, I speak my German with a bit of an accent. So. That, this whole long story just to say I am very Nigerian and my accent is heavily influenced by different bits and bobs in my life and I'm okay with that I don't have to sound a certain way for people to be okay with themselves because usually people want to be okay with themselves that's why they have a problem with you know how you speak like oh if you're not from East Africa why do you speak like that eh, guess what I, there's like a bunch of other factors that come in play that could make me speak like that sorry I, but not sorry you know what I mean <laughs> number three I am married yes I think I mentioned that in the last point I'm married I've been married for two years almost two years two years in a few days um, and that has been a very interesting experience my husband and I have been together for obviously way longer we've been together for five years now almost five years and we've been married for two so um, yeah marriage is great <laughs> you should get married <laughs> If you want <laughs> if not then maybe chill and enjoy the baby girl lifestyle um, but ba basically I'm married and uh, my husband is German if you didn't know number four I am a business owner I own Iman Zaza so Iman Zaza is like a group company if that makes sense initially we started out as a fashion line but now we've kind of like diversified to a lot of so now basically Iman Zaza is like a group company and under the group company we have different brands we have Oceanese which is the most popular brand 
um, with and on on the all she needs we have fashion lifestyle beauty we have a beauty we have a, a hub in lucky phase one where um, people can come in and do fashion shopping there's a small cafe downstairs you can do your ma manicure pedicure your microblading your lash extensions we're adding in a salon soon uh, we're adding in the spa room soon and a laundry room soon and that's where I have been for the last two years. Girl, let me tell you something. Oh Jesus, like starting a business in Nigeria has been, I mean, it has been what, what how everything is in Nigeria. As, as, as a Nigerian, we started online first and then we started growing and growing and growing. I'm very thankful to God and thankful to all our supporters out there, people who have been supporting us from day one. Look, I have loyal people. And I'm like really, really, really thankful. Thank you so much because the brand has really done well and the brand keeps growing. And then it was time for us to expand and so we decided to get an offline store as well to add to the online store. And with the offline store came beauty, a lot of stuff on beauty, which is the manicure pedicure, manicure pedicure section, microblading section, lash section, this section, that section. Getting each section ready. Nigerian artist has Capitals of life and destiny. And let me know, let, 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 don't get me started. So going through all of that, just going through it, it was crazy and it took a lot of time. And I think we finally opened, I mean, we haven't done an official launch, but we finally opened October last year. Um, and it's been great. Um, it's been obviously a learning process, a, um, you know, a, a progress, but one that we're very, very happy with and i'm i'm blessed i feel like I, I feel very full i feel very blessed um so yeah that's what i've been up to i've been expanding my business trying to make the coin baby ching ching you get it number four which is german um not for number five is i am an advertising and marketing girl so what that means is that my background is advertising and marketing so even for my business now, I do advertising, whatever I do is probably marketing based. I'm not one of those bosses who would, um, you know, just hire someone to do everything. I'm there, so I, I'm getting paid by my company. So yeah, I am going to work for my company. And the work I do for my company is obviously very, very marketing based and um yeah it's fun and i have a great team that kind of supplements every other thing that i do not know number six and i don't really know if it's following with what i'm saying if i'm actually a number six but you get the point um is that i'm a graphics designer i'm a certified graphics designer i have a certificate i took i took a course for a couple of months and yeah so that's fun for me it's not something that a lot of people know and it's something that i want to actually do more of um do more graphics design but obviously knowing that means that um, for my business whatever i need graphics wise i pretty much can knock together and i don't need anyone to step in and help me with graphics um so yeah graphics is that i didn't know number seven that's number seven I am an ambivert. Ambivert even leaning more towards the introverted scale of things. So basically what that means is that that's number two reason why you haven't really been seeing me. I kind of like just kind of fell into this rhythm of being a hermit. I kind of like prefer my space which is not always obviously the best because I mean we're social animals by default so we are meant to be somewhat social i just started social media again by social media i mean instagram <laughs> and i'm actually also seeing a lot of cool people like a lot of cool women who are doing great things and they're so inspiring i mean and i just want to like be inspired if that makes sense and i want to create so being an ambivert i still have made the decision not to let it Basically, that means I can function properly in an in an extroverted situation. So why am I not taking that chance? You know what I mean. And number act, which is number eight, is 
I speak a bit of German. Hallo, ich bin Coco Plus Park und heute möchte ich mit dir Deutsch sprechen, aber weiß ich nicht, was zu sagen genau. Ich denke, das ist, ich muss ähm, ein bisschen Vorplanung machen, ich muss ein bisschen vielleicht etwas schreiben und dann weiß ich, aber jetzt ist mein Kopf total leer. Es gibt nichts, es, es gibt nichts, ich kann nichts, ich kann an nichts denken. Ist das richtig? Das weiß ich nicht. Mein Deutsch ist nicht perfekt, aber ich kann, ich kann ein bisschen, uh, ich kann mit Deutsch ein bisschen reden. Okay, that's all of the eight things that I think that you need to know about me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's not a long video and you stay through to the end. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment in the section below thank you very much again for watching this video to the end and see you in my next video cheers